I got all F's in high school. I went to four rehab. I have no skill set, whatever. The only thing I know how to do is just to put one foot in front of the other and say, fuck it. I think that's the only thing I did right in my life. Look at me right now, dude. Would you ever make love to a dwarf? So you've probably seen Bobby Lee in quite a few clips. He's probably the funniest person I've ever met. And so here's his incredible life story from start to finish. And I guarantee you'll be laughing. As soon as you hit the subscribe button, by the way, because we want to get to a million subscribers by the end of the year. And you can help get us there right now. Just hit the subscribe button would mean the world Anyways, to us. Anyways, guys, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Let's begin. Although before we go into that, you've probably seen those YouTube videos of people exposing scam artists who use phishing attempts to steal identities. And what do all those videos have in common? Well, they target the old and my housemate, Kevin. Now, in general, as part of the younger generation, we almost know immediately when an email looks sketchy or when we should ignore it. But what about your parents or your grandparents? Kevin. Those scammers get information about you and your relatives through data broker websites who sell it openly on the web. Then they use this data to come up with personalized scam messages that are so easy to fall for. Well, one of the best ways to ensure your family's online safety is through today's sponsor, Delete Me. Delete Me is a software that hunts down your private information exposed online and it eliminates it from those annoying data broker websites. Plus, Delete Me will continue to remove your data every three months, helping safeguard your privacy year round. And they even offer package deals so you could protect your own information while also helping your parents or even kids who are developing an online presence at an increasingly early age. So take control of your personal information, not only for yourself, but also for your family with our sponsor, Delete Me. And also you're going to get a lot of peace of mind from doing so. Check out joindeleteme.com slash ICH20 or use the promo code ICH20 to get an exclusive 20% off all consumer plans. Again, that's code ICH20 at joindeleteme.com. Protect yourself and stay private with Delete Me. And now let's get back to the podcast thanks for having me on. thank you so Dude, much for thank coming you so on, much man. for coming on this is so exciting for yeah, us honestly so we listened to four hours mm. straight of you in the car at 2x speed mm. so we've just heard eight what hours did you watch of bad you. friends uh, uh we'll i did a little bit of bad Barry. friends we did impulsive we lex also friedman. we did lex friedman mm. which was amazing that yeah. one was awesome because so it's very good. different than a lot of the other podcasts you've been on. Yes, He's very analytical. Obviously, it was hilarious, but it wasn't around like funny stories and stuff like that, mm -hmm. which yeah. I loved. Theo Vaughn, and then some of Impulsive. Some of Impulsive yeah. with the Jake Paul, mm -hmm. Ron Paul. What's it? Logo Paul. Logo Paul. Logo Paul. Logo. <laughs> I love Logo Paul. Logo Paul. No, those guys are good. Yeah. You know, um, you know, he's got um, a big penis. I assume. You know, I didn't see it, but <laughs> so I, I, let me rank yeah. Pe yeah. penis size. May I? Sure. Yeah, yeah. On who? I, I don't know if we know. If we know. I do. I know. <laughs> yeah. I already Go know. Thir how, how could you tell? I mean, it's, it's 13. obvious. 13.5. Yeah. At yeah, least. The way sure, I know 13.5. Sure. At least. Okay. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Yeah. Number one. <laughs> yeah. Two, three. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 to me like that. You know what you said on Impulsive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said penis size is directly related to stature. To size. That was you, right? No, I never said that. You said that. I'm pretty sure you said that. a quote. Don't quote me on it. Let me tell you something about science my friend all right okay. you think yao ming has a small dick. it's proportional to the body i think okay, you I said that it, it could but have also been. Look, i make things up all the time i don't know anything you, said, don't know anything. Yeah. you said yao yeah. ming do you think yao ming with his size 16 foot yeah, has a small penis no He's, that was that came no, up in the conversation. no yeah oh, that's my point my point is is this okay when they stay like you know the stereotypes that you know there's a stereotype they say they say asian men have small penises and i'm you know what i mean i think you should go by your foot size you know. i have nine <laughs> <laughs> right, so women think mine's mine's average. I have nine feet. You have fourteen. Awesome. What's your size? Foot size? My foot size is yeah. about a ten and a half. Nice. Yours? Eight. <laughs> IPU. Yeah. Dude, oh, no, you dude, you're no fourth. Way you me, you're man. fourth in the room. You're fourth no in the way. room. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, man. You're fourth in the it's room, impossible. dude. It's so sad. It's not impossible. We gotta bring dude. Eric in here. No, yeah. So he, uh, no. he takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he's Japanese. What is he? I don't know. Oh gosh. We should probably know this. Stop. Stop. You don't know. The ethnicity of a man that you're working with? I think he's Chinese. That's insane. No, I don't That's know. That's insane. No, no, we don't work with him. It doesn't matter. The first thing you yeah. ask is, what really? are you? I just, for I, me, I never I, you have to ask. I don't what see color. You? It doesn't yeah, yeah. matter to yeah. me. Yeah. I don't so even, should I, I ask that to Jack? This is how you say like, Jack, what are you? No, not him. No. No. Because he's white. But it could but be we, like, you know, a European We don't care. No, I'm Jewish. Croatian. I bet you didn't It could be He's white. There could be a lot of things. So this is what you ask him when he comes back in the room. And they love it. We love it. All right. Just listen. What kind of ching chong are you? <laughs> they love it. And that works. They love it. It works. It's so good. In fact, if you go to Japan, there's a manual, right? 
And that's the first thing that's on the manual. What kind of ching chong are you? Huh. Yeah, yeah. Do you think yeah. that you look Korean? Are you fucking son of a bitch. What the I'm fuck, curious. Bro? I'm curious. I'm just what curious. What kind of games are you playing right because, now, dog? Well, I, know you're, I know you're Korean. <laughs> what kind of... What, no, no. It's so <laughs> fucking dude. <laughs> you're acting so fucking January 6th right now, dude. Hey, oh, no, my no, God. A yeah, very yeah. close friend of mine is <laughs> also Q Korean. On, dude. A super close friend of mine. And I don't Korean. look it? <laughs> I, you, I don't look it! No. <laughs> I don't look Korean to you, fuck. What do I look like then? What does he look well, like? I yeah. think, what do I look like then? I think it's some. I mean, <laughs> Dude, spit it you out. You look Korean, spot. man. No, 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 no. Spit it out. Spit it out. Let's be you, real. To be honest, I want to have a good relationship with you. Okay. Yeah, to yeah, be yeah. honest, when I see you, sorry, I, I got angry. Sorry. I think more so Japanese. Wow, that's so. Oh my god, that hurts. I. It's amazing. Is that painful? Well, I mean, the Japanese oppressed Korea for very many, many years. But you know what? I'll go with it. I, in fact, I'm 10 percent Japanese. I did that 23 and me, and I'm it not says necessarily that, wrong. You're not necessarily wrong. Right. Where's the Ching Chong at? Is he Eric? coming? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's out of the room. All right. Yeah. So um, how many, like you guys live in Vegas, right? You live there too? Live yeah, Vegas, I live yeah. in Vegas. Yeah, we yeah. initially lived in Santa Monica together and then mm. we moved to Vegas together. Why? Because of the taxes? That was a big part of it. Yeah. Uh. It's also really nice there. Like, I feel like LA has kind of been going downhill. What do you think about that? I'm not moving. No. I don't care what you guys say. I don't care what Joe Rogan or anybody says to go to Austin. I'm not leaving LA. But has it gone downhill? Like we're driving through downtown. We're uh, Eagle Rock. And I was telling Jack, oh, the last time I was here was like 10 years ago driving through Eagle Rock. It got bad. Like some of the buildings were like half kind of like dilapidated, graffiti everywhere, people like roaming the streets in the middle of the street. I never remembered it like that. Yeah, but that's why I don't go there. Where do you go? Just in my neighborhood. Oh. Yeah. You can't really, you know, have an opinion about things that you don't actually so see. So you just block it. Yeah, uh, back, like, yeah. let me just say something, okay? Yeah. When they said, remember back in the day, there's blood and crips, dog? What's up? Does remember, that, I feel like remember, it still dog? exists. Yeah, I know, but I never went. To, so I just didn't. You just, because we, I never went to Watts or Compton, right? Yeah. And checked it out. Mm. You know what I mean? So I just don't pretend it's what there. What about like really. Venice? Like you ever get? Like I don't even go there, streets, man. Those are the that. worst kind of homeless. Yeah. yeah. What's the difference between Venice homeless? Well, because the, the ones in Venice think they have talent. <laughs> Email, check me out. <laughs> right, and then you're like, here's a dollar. That, what was that? <laughs> hey, man, check me out. So, you know what I mean? So you have like been to Venice. What? So you have been Yeah, and they start tap dancing, but you're like, uh, that's not, or they have some sort of instrument that like made out of, you know, tin and, you know what I mean, glass. Oh, the, the paint, the paint cans. I don't like that. The drums. So they okay. think they have talent. Got it. You know what I mean? Um, which they probably do for their level, you know? What do you think? <laughs> Maybe. I, 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 I just don't know what that mean or no, no. But you I just get what I'm saying when you're there. The thing is what it is. Yeah, yeah I think it's when you go down there, you see, you know, you see the guy with the electric guitar. Oh yeah, yeah the yeah, rollerblades. Yeah, he's right? pretty yeah. good though. Yeah, so, yeah the, the electric yeah, guitar good. guy. He's pretty he's good. He's been but the, there since yeah. I was a kid. But he's like the he's like yeah. the Denzel of that. Yes. Right. I feel like it's the drummers. That's one of them that I'm like questionable. You could just be hitting him at some random tempo. I really don't know. Right. But the guitarist, you can't fake that. You know. Right. Um, how do you feel about the silver dude that's like frozen? I don't I just see don't, him. Oh, I, that's Santa Monica. Yeah, but do, do you like that guy? Not necessarily. I do. I do. He's not Why? Con what problem? Because it's is the he same thing him? every single. Like you can go to Vegas and you see these same silver guy. You, you know, you go to Santa Monica exactly, and, it's and you know what it is. Yeah. You know exactly. They're just sitting. It's hacky. really what they're doing is just sitting. Right. They are Perfectly very uncomfortable. Still. So there's something going Why on there. Why silver though? Why can't you be another color? I've seen gold. You've seen gold. I've yeah. seen gold. Yeah, yeah. What about shit brown? That'd be cool. I think that would be questionable. Brown. Well, you know, 2023. The what? If what? Going, no, what, what, where, if what, what do you what do you even? If you're painting yourself, what are you even dark, implying right now? If dude? you're painting yourself with a dark color, isn't that kind of going against what everyone? Oh, you're saying that he, that's a guy blackface kind of a thing. In a sense, you're right. Okay, let's. Like, I would it, say I would not. Let's keep it to silver then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's silver. Anyway, I'm curious. How did you get? <laughs> let's shift, shift focus here. How did you get started in comedy? Oh, where, come where did this, on, I, really? Yeah. You know, this we're doing it. that right now. Yeah, we're doing that. We want to know. Don't want to talk about that. That's totally fine. I want. I want to. I like it. Okay. Cool. But no, yeah. I don't. Let's let's just, <laughs> how about this? Let's yeah. segue into it in, in a natural way. Okay, sure. Because I was like, kind of like you know, we we're going this street, yeah. and they're like, let's take a laugh. How about this? How about this? <laughs> You're obviously a funny guy. We've laughed more in the first ten minutes of this than any other podcast. <laughs> oh, gosh, have you always right. been funny? Has it was it something that like you you no, learned just, to no, be funny? It's not. It's just not funny. I just like what I do is I just I just kind of just talk. You know what I mean? It's, I don't think it's funny. It's just my, I, I'm just a weird guy, I think. It's a skill. Is it? I can't yes. be. I cannot be funny yes. like that. Like, if I tried, I, I would I don't, embarrass I honestly myself. don't think I'm being funny. I, I honestly it's, don't think okay, I'm being so funny right now. the whole room is laughing, though. Yeah, but I don't know yeah. why. Because you're funny. I, well, let me say that. Am I the little guy? Is that why? 
No. I'm the little Asian guy, funny guy. I honestly didn't even take. Like, I mean, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a clown. Is that what I am? No. No, I'm kidding. But no, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> listen to me, man. Um, you get a lot of girls. Me? Yeah, yeah. To be honest, you have a girlfriend? No. Why? I don't have a girlfriend. Do I get? I, I don't say get a lot of girls. I I do my best, and occasionally I'll get dates. Yeah. But I would say, I do a, worse than you would probably imagine. Yeah. Well, okay, so um, this year, how many girls have you smashed? Zero. Well, Christian, huh? No. You tried? Yeah. You well, really? No, 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 no. Hold on. No, no. Pause. Pause. That's pause, so pause. Sad. I didn't try to smash. Yeah. I. <laughs> You know, I try to have a loving relationship. Oh, Jesus Christ, what? But here's the thing, man. It's 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 hard and also I, I will How say How old are you? Twenty four. L- guy. I don't find guy, a lot guy, 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 guy. <laughs> this is the age to do it. Because let me just say something, guy. All right, when I was in my ten year relationship, the thing that was in the back of my mind was like I should have done it more in my twenties. Why can't you now? I am doing it now. How is we that? broke up. How is that? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> is that good for you? Feels good. <laughs> so you feel so good? How are you? Go- How are you good with the ladies? What do you mean? How are you good with them? Like, what is it? Like, I think where, I, I think where I'm do you find them? Where do I find them? Yeah. Yes, straight downtown. The home. No, you- <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I know. <laughs> you, you, know one, you know the that's silver insane. one, Jack? Yeah, the silver <laughs> one. Yeah, 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 yeah. His cousin, the electric guitar guy. <laughs> no, um, no. I- <laughs> no, what I'm saying is this: is be real. Let's be real. Um, I, because I don't. Um, you know, when I was in my 20s, I was too afraid <laughs> to even go for it. Because the rejection really hurt. And now I think I just don't really that care that much anymore. Like I've had girls go, I've, I've, I've had, go, hey, you want to hang out? And I've heard, had, I've had girls go, ew, now. I mean, I don't give a f- I just move on. They said ew to you? Like, ew, yeah. Where, where in Hawaii. You... I swear to God it happened. I was in Hawaii, bro. I'm walking down the street. This blonde girl, she's from Oklahoma. How old is she? She's white, probably. Anywhere between 25 and 35. Okay. Sure. Is that pretty good? Yeah, that's yeah. great. And then her friend's like, she's like, oh, can I get a photo with you? And I go, yeah. And she, and then her friends were like, like, ooh. They said, ooh, too. They go, ooh, who's that guy? Right? And she's like, oh, he's a comic, this and that. And then and they go, is that you're going to be your future husband to the blonde girl? And she goes, ew, a bigger ew. ew. I took the photo and I left. What? I will say this much. Yeah. I think you can turn those I views. am ooh, though. No, you're not. I am. I don't. I don't see the you. Yeah. No. Like, what do you mean by Maybe, that? Uh, do you mean like, <laughs> like? Well, to some, I'm pretty ooh, probably. And to some, I'm ooh as well. Right. And then there's some. There's some girls are ooh to me. Right. So I think we're at understanding. So we're balances. very good. Out. Yeah, yeah. Balance this out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, what were you gonna the, say? The yin and the yang. The yin and the yang. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that you can turn some of those ooh encounters like. You can just keep persisting and being the best person that you can possibly be. And I feel like after enough time, once you've proven yourself to somebody, you think there needs to be that upfront chemistry. It's got to be some. Nope. Because you're, we're talking, you're talking, you're, we're talking about two different games. Okay. Or I'm talk, you're talking about finding the love of your life, right? And I'm talking about smashing. Those are two different games. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, I, 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 to be honest with you, um, I, I think I like somebody right now. Really? I do like somebody, and that's all I'm going to say. Although, you know what? While we're on the topic of being a creator, I got to say, I know how overwhelming it could be to see all the equipment that's out there and think, oh, I got to spend thousands of dollars to get started up. But thankfully, our sponsor, StreamYard, is there to help. So StreamYard is a live streaming studio platform that helps you create high quality content with just the click of a button. All you need is any camera and an internet connection, and you can start streaming directly from your browser. What I really like, though, is that you could stream to multiple social media platforms all at the same time. So you could set it up once and then stream to YouTube, to Twitch, to Instagram, and and so on. Basically, almost anything out there, you're going to get your face out there. StreamYard is the best way to start creating content online. And best of all, they also offer a free package so you guys can get started today at the cost of zero. And look, leveling with you guys, they've also been a huge supporter of the podcast and have allowed us to take a lot of trips and travel to some of the guests that we otherwise just wouldn't have really seen. So if you guys appreciate that and want to support us and have something that's totally free, visit StreamYard down below in the description to get started today. Thank you so much, StreamYard. We love you. And back to the episode. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I guess well, what sort of qualities do you like about a person like that? I like um, the opposite of what I am. I'm a dirty ethnic bastard. You know what I mean? I spit. I spit in the coochie. <laughs> I do. I spit right in the coochie and I don't apologize for it. I go, 
right? And they go, well, <laughs> ooh, I don't care. You know what I mean? But I like the opposite. The, I like ones that are like... That say ooh? Oh, no, that don't say ooh. ooh. I like the ones that are like, I go to church. I wake up at 8 in the morning. I do yoga. You know what I mean? And then I, you know, I take my son to school. You know what I mean? There's normal, sure. normal people. You know what I mean? I don't want anyone to spit on me back. If I, I go, will say. And then, then, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then it becomes a weird thing. You know what I mean? So it's like, no, I like the opposite of like who I am, you know, because I'm, uh, I'm a creature of the night. <laughs> and I want an uh, angel of the day. Good, uh, good yin and yang. Yeah. Thank you, yin and yeah. yang again. I think that makes sense. Thank I feel you. like that's a, a lot of guys just in general are attracted to like the proactive woman who like gets up early and like you know takes the kids to school. They go to activities. They yeah, have their yeah. own life. Like I feel like this, those are just generally accepted attractive qualities in women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to say yeah. asol for, to me. Asof. As asol. I saw. Good. What does that mean? I don't know, but it's Asian and I love it. It's going it, to be some slur or something. No, no, no. It's no, 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 no. It's, I think it's a hello. I think it's a oh, yes okay, or something cool, right. in Japan. Um, yeah, I mean, um, but right now, because I was in a 10-year thing, um, I'm not really eager to rush into another long-term thing. Right? I just, you know, I just, um, I don't know, I'm just trying to figure, I'm trying to, I think I'm in a new m metamorphosis mm. in my life. Yeah. What did you learn from that relationship? What did you learn from that relationship? Oh, well, first of all, I love her still. Yeah. You know, um, we have a podcast together called Tiger Belly, mm -hmm. and I love her immensely. She's my best friend. I learned a lot. I learned um, that I can love somebody, you know, unconditionally, um, even if it's not sex is not involved, really. Mm -hmm. And um, I trust her like family. You know, I really do. Um, I love her. I love her whole family. And, um, um, I didn't really learn anything, really. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah, I'm trying to make something else. I didn't learn nothing. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That is way too so funny. Scared. That was so like scared. the most like, politician answer. Man, I love. Like, <laughs> Philip oh, offering this whole thing yeah. going on this long no. spiel. Oh my god. I'm oh, sorry. Let's do it again. <laughs> no, but my point. Is, yeah. But I do love her, and um, you know, I know I'm going through something right now in my life, and I, uh, you know, I've been chasing this dream, and you know, for a very long time, and um. You know, it's it hasn't panned out the way I thought it was going to pan out. Mm. In many ways, it's better than I ever thought it would ever be. It's a nightmare as well. But I, um, I don't know. I just need a change, and I don't know what it is. But um, it could be Vegas. It could be. And when when Polly was living there, I was thinking about going. You know, Polly Shore of lived course. there for a bit. Yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, I, you know, that, I mean, you know. But check this out. Me and Andrew Santino are doing eight shows. In Vegas, we got a like a, a kind of a residency no at a, at a, at a casino. Cool. Yeah, which when? casino? We it's still we're in the oh. negotiations, yeah, but okay, yeah, I know because yeah. we haven't fucking done it yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get, so ang I get so angry. I'm so I sorry. I get so excited. I, I know. Like, I know. You know what? I should calm down. No, I, no, keep it up. You know what, guys? Yeah. Let's namaste. namaste. Namaste, namaste. Yeah. Um, I like your little hands. Thank you. They're so cute. <laughs> they're, they're proper. Oh God, they're so cute. Yeah. Holy Thank shit, dude. They look like um. You know, like Cabbage Patchy. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> you have a girlfriend? A uh, fiance. Ooh, la la. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, how 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 long uh, were you dating before you? Uh, uh, how long has it been? Three years. Actually, well, the three years on the day. Is yeah. What I proposed. Wow. Yeah. And um, what did she do? Uh, right now she's doing some personal training. Mm, oh, she's so, hot. Yeah, she's hot. Good body. Great. Is she taller? Yes. You know, it's so funny. Yeah. How tall are you? <laughs> Like five, four. -ish. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Right. <laughs> Six foot. <laughs> yeah, but it's you've always dated girls taller, right? I mean, everyone's taller than me, so it's. I know, but yeah. I mean, but if you saw like four foot six girl, no. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, man, you want to hang out, man? I mean, you wouldn't do it, right? <laughs> no, not that that's just what their voices are like. Everyone's just coincidentally been taller. It's not really been by like a choice. It's just like everyone is typically taller than me. I know, but you so, yeah. do. Are you attracted to taller women? Is what I'm asking. Overall, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they're your parents. You are? Yeah, I didn't know that. Really? You yeah. like taller women? Yeah. I think they got a little height. But you're like a shorter that. woman. I prefer shorter women. R yeah, but I. I'm How also, tall are you? I'm six one. Uh, with shoes on, I'm six feet. Would you date a dwarf? Probably not. Probably. Let, I would, let that sink in. <laughs> I would probably. Why not? <laughs> would you? Well, if their personality is great. Me too. I mean, if their no, be really. Oh. Look, I, t t okay, to be completely fair and honest, this is my honest answer. You're, if, well, first of all, I, I don't know what you're doing right now, but you're panicking. But, and, and, and here's the deal, dude. Here's the deal, dude, all right? There's no shit. I mean, you like what you like, all right? You so know it's what? like, would you... Look at me right now, dude. Would you ever make love 
dwarf. Something about you is so comforting, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, my answer, answer the to question that is yes. You would? I think I would. You know, in a, can I say this too? Let me say this, right? You're a lying bastard. I'm not. Yeah, I swear a, I'm not. You're a I really piece of shit right now. I'm dude. not. <laughs> you're acting like a no, piece no. of shit. Uh, uh, no, no. What you're doing is a piece of shit move, right? And I like it. But you, you know what, dude? Why don't you speak your mind? I really would. Here's the thing. Let me explain this to you. With who? <laughs> if I really actually did connect with him on an emotional level, yeah. I really, I would. And here's the thing. I will say this about you. I really, what I admire about you is you probably, how about, I'm having, let me finish. Go ahead. Would you make love to a woman with gigantism? That one? She's seven, six. Do I get along with her perfectly? Like she's if, got a, a she's the head. Seven, six? Like a, you know what I mean? Like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> she got Rob, Rob Gronkowski's hands. Dude. You know what I mean? Dude. And she's just like, what's <laughs> up? You know what I mean? And like, look at me in the eyes, dude. Would you make love you to a woman? Yeah, 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 like yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Uh, at that point, if, would she you? Had a, if she had a head like a wrecking ball, I would... No, gigantism, just wreck, a re average woman with gigantism. Would you I make love? <laughs> Great personality. I, will you guys share? Will you, you guys have the same hobbies? You guys really laugh it up. You really get along. I would. You've never, I would. No, you would. I swear I would. <laughs> you like, fuck no, her. If yeah. I really connect with her on that deep All right, level... Let's, let's go further then. Let's go further. <laughs> I'll go further, right? All right. Would you date if they existed... Okay. Now we're we're going mythological. A minotaur. Would I date a minotaur? Yeah. What what is a minotaur? You no. know what, you, you want that's fucking what fucked up. That's dude. not a human. <laughs> dude, At that what point, is a minotaur? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, dude. A minotaur is, is a You're racist bowl? against mythologicals, dude, and I don't fucking like it, dude. I, I honestly yeah, yeah. I, I like mythological creatures uh, a lot, uh, uh, but you, I don't guess find what a, what guess what a minotaur is. You just said a bowl of some sort, right? Yeah, Do you know, I have to let, look it up or you don't know anything about mythological creatures? No. I'm going to throw some your way. Yeah. Okay. So a, a minotaur is what? It's a bull body and human legs. Do you know that? No. Have you seen that in any movie or anything? No. All right. No. Let's, let's go. Like Lord of centaur. The Rings or so. What's yeah. a centaur? I don't know. I know. It's, it sounds Dude, I, you I know what? Mean. Do you and I? Let me say something. If I was a woman, right? I yeah. think we would. Well, you think because we, we have together? the same kind of. I, I, I mean, like it. I like it. I do like mythology. I like Percy Jackson. You know Percy Jackson? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You read that? No. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say. That would be crazy. Let's just move on. But uh, okay. you know what a centaur is? No. It's a horse's uh, body horse and a person. body and a yeah, human yeah. Usually they body. have a bow, bow and arrow. Well, then you know, man. Right. Okay, do you know what a satyr so. is? I don't know what no. that is. A satyr is goat lower half yeah. and human upper half. Whoa, satyr. I've never heard of that. <laughs> yeah. And you could cover yourself up if you're a satyr just with some pants. Yeah. And no one would ever know. Mongoloid? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard of that's a so sad. I can't believe you said I had like a wrecking ball still to yeah. be honest. That's anyway, so you don't so you don't like you don't like fantasy or sci-fi or anything? No, not really. So in the movies you've never seen like Lord of the Rings. I've seen Lord of the Rings. I like that. You Harry do. Potter is great. Oh, so you do yeah. like it then? You're not I just it. don't know the names. Like oh, you just right. throw out these names, I just don't know what they are. Do you usually you drink know. cups with two hands? <laughs> I'm just I'm just curious. I don't mean that in any way. I, it's just an honest question. Yeah, I do. What of it? I'm just curious because I've I've personally, I haven't seen. You're many, a one hand guy. I am a one hand guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why do you just opt for the two hand method instead? Well, I saw Trump do it once, drinking water. He used oh. both hands. I'm like, that's a good way to do it. He has yeah. such big hands, He's, though. Yeah, I, I know, like but it. still, he was like shaking and he was drinking. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know why, but I just do. Okay. Yeah, it's none of your business. That's it. But it's good to be here. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me ask you this: Your parents were st are still together. They are. Yours, are, you are not. Correct. How do you wow. do this? I could just look at it. No, you are so <laughs> innocent <laughs> and pure and kind of like unreal in many ways. You know I mean, you're very like... You shouldn't um, exist, right? Mormon-esque almost. I'm, I know you're a Jew. I'm not religious. I know you're Jewish. Well, I'm by like biologically, yes, because my mom is Jewish. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not... I, I didn't grow up religious at all. Yeah, but you just look like a Americana, just a well-natured young man. Thank you, man. Right? There's something about you. And <laughs> oh, ed, no. There's an edge about there's you. An edge. And there's something about you. <laughs> That's um, Slytherin. Hmm. Yeah, there's. You know what? I did one of those Facebook quizzes, like which Harry Potter are you? Yeah. And it was Slytherin. I know it was. Yeah. You know, I'm Hufflepuff. <laughs> nice to meet you. Wait, can there I you just go. ask you really quickly? Would you make love with a centaur? Well, do you, I've never seen a female centaur, so no. What about a. Would you make love with a montor? What is it called? A, uh, a montor? A montor? <laughs> what? What is the. What's the, a montor? The, the bull one. 
Minotaur. Minotaur. Would you ever make love with a Minotaur? I've never seen a female Minotaur either, but if hypothetically, I mean, they should, they probably do exist because, you know, I mean, how do they have kids? Isn't a bull just male? Like a bull yeah, is the is. male. It is. It's a, a right. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. But if there was some sort of thing like, you know what I mean? He was transitioning. <laughs> like, identifies. <laughs> yeah, he identifies as a, as a woman, right? And he, you know, he got the operation and yes. stuff, right? So I, you know, I go, oh, look at the bull, the bull, you know what I mean? And then I look at the, the badge <laughs> area and I go, oh, looks nice. You know what I mean? And then I know it's this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bull penis cut in half and tucked inside his body. <laughs> <laughs> but that sounds good to you. I mean, it, it would have to be like be the a, best yeah. looking vagina I've ever seen for me to like, because you're still looking at the, you know, the bull half sure. when you're making love, you know? Yeah. So no, I don't think so. I, no. Uh, let's go human though. Ask me some humans. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Would you make love with a quadriplegic? Explain to me what that is. That means you have no limbs, no arms, no legs. Well, I thought, I thought that's just, you can't move your arms or your legs. Quadriplegic. Yeah, yeah. Know what the fucking thing is. <laughs> Jack is thrown out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's like he's <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, yeah, let's awful, just say you man. have no arms and legs. Yeah, just don't use the terminology because you don't know the term. <laughs> okay. So just I, describe I really what it is that that was, I really just, thought... You know, you sound ridiculous. Go ahead. Okay, someone without legs and arms. Now, may I have a, I have, can I have to ask some questions? Yeah. Were they did, were they born without them? No. Or did they lose it in a they war? Lost, they lost it. In a war? No. How? They were riding their bike and they got hit by a car. They lost their arms and legs by riding a bike. <laughs> it was really it was tragic. Brutal. It was. It was brutal. It was brutal. Yeah. 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 Why not? So yeah. that's your logic. Here's the problem though with that. It's not that I'm not going to be sexually attracted to them, or you know, what I mean, we're not going to get along. It's just <clears throat> I'll end up being like their rickshaw almost, like carrying them around everywhere. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't like that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Like, I got to go to the bathroom. <sighs> you know what I mean? And then you got to, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? Right. Because someone with no arms and legs, what do they just, you know, how they do can, they, get, yeah, and then they're like roll. around the house just it's slithering, you know what I mean? That would be <laughs> fucking weird. No? Yeah, right or no? I, I mean, I say <laughs> you'd have to carry them around. Slither, you know? Not slither, I mean, but like, what do you do roll. when you, when you, you roll? When, Oh, that's even weirder. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! They're just rolling around the house. That'd be fucking weird. But I would have to pick them up. So I think that's. A, oh, you know what? I would create a harness, like a backpack, something like that, or yeah. like, a, you know, or like more of a kangaroo thing. A front pouch, like a front a pouch. pouch. Stick yeah. them in the front, right? And we can go ATV. You know, do something, right? Wee! You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I do want to yeah. mention this. Go ahead. That what I admire about you a lot, and something I'm trying to learn from you, is how are you so shameless? And about because what? I've realized throughout my life, I've been subjected to a lot of judgment from random people. This guy, one of the most judgmental oh, people I've ever on, met in my entire life. Come he on. seems judgy, yeah. And, and I it do sometimes, like you, you noticed it earlier, how I felt like I was kind of like wondering what the best thing is to say mm. because for fear for judgment. Because I've had well, you edit this podcast, right? We, we do. do, yeah. Well, then you can say whatever you want. You can no, just edit I, it out. But I don't want to be free. To. Yeah. I, 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 we more edit, we, the more we, we include, the better. Yeah. We edit so. out forty percent of every podcast. Do you really? Yeah. Okay, so we. I talk to so many other podcasters, very other, po very few other podcasters edit out that much. Like we edit out maybe 20% of most podcasts. So I'm curious, what's said that makes you edit it out? That's why we edit it. I can't say it. Could you give us a hint? No, no, like, no, no. no. Is I mean, anything just you in disagree? Your, in yeah. your mind. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah, yeah. Like what, what would get flagged on mm. YouTube? Mm. So is that, so that's the metric is just like, hey, would this get flagged? When we make money, down, you're like, right. You know, and yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. there was a time in, in, um, in comedy where you could say whatever you want and there were no consequences. And there's, there's so many deep consequences now. And, um, you know, I've gotten in trouble for it. So it's just like, I just, yeah. I mean, it sucks. You know what I mean? You can't say what you want to say. And um, regardless if it's, it's wrong or right, I mean, you know, you just kind of explore yeah. different ideas. But um, I have never heard, or I've never really seen people get so like uptight or sensitive as they are today, as they were back then. I mean, you have like the Eddie Murphy specials and like all of these things. And it seems like people are now going back decades saying, well, you said this in the 1980s and that's unacceptable and you should apologize for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. But um, I can't change anything. Um, there's nothing I can do. And so um, I'm playing by it, the rules, you know what I mean, that's laid in front of me. And... Um, yeah, I don't know how long, if it gets worse, I don't know yeah. how long we can do it, but um, 
Right now, it's still fine. We can still say a lot of the things we want to say. But that's got to make you paranoid, though. Like, in the back of your mind, are you are constantly thinking, like, oh, I can't say that. Well, what you or have like, to do is this. You have to, um, I, and this is, like, pretty serious. Um, and it's sad. You have to let go of the things that they can take away. Right? So when somebody gets canceled, they go, I'm going to lose this, this, and this. And the reason why they freak out when they're getting canceled is because they they want to grab onto this thing that they're going to lose, right? So what I've had to do is like just already have funerals for my other dreams, right? Because it's Mm. like, you know, because if they can't take that away, then I'm fine. Yeah, this you know, or, it, this it, or a real estate guy, Ben Mala, yeah. says whatever's on his mind, uh-huh. does not care at all. Yeah. People love it. Yeah. But he is like, you know, everything, he, he has nothing really to gain from anything. So he's just like, you know, I'll say whatever. Doesn't matter to me yeah, either because, way I'm set. Yeah. It's fine. But he, the problem yeah. though is, is that yeah. he doesn't have, like I act. Yeah. Right. So, you know, I'm on Sex in the City, Reservation, all these shows, right. Mm-hmm. And those are the things that, you know what I mean, that they can take away. And I love doing those things. I love doing those shows. I love I love the people I work with. I love the process of acting. It's a dream of mine to do it. But I've had to let it go because they can take it away. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to allow myself, right, to live in fear. Yeah. Right? So I've already kind of like, you know, if I don't act again, I don't act again. You know, if I don't, if certain parts of my you know business is dead... You know what I mean? Then so be it. But yeah. is like, it is it the love of doing that sort of stuff that's keeping you going, or is it like the, a dollar amount behind it, where it's like, hey, if I had fifty million bucks, I wouldn't care. I'd say whatever. No, it's, or it's like no, no, no. It's still the, no. It's yeah. still like I mean, I, I, you know, I love comedy, dude, and yeah. I and I love um, I love doing it with Andrew. I love doing it with you know my own podcast as well. Um, there's the love. It's the love of doing it, you know. Sure. But um, of course, I mean, you know, you you do make. YouTube money and money, you know what I mean? Like you guys do. Mm-hmm. And uh, it pays the bills and that's great and we're blessed. But um but the, you have to have the love. You have to want to do it. I do stand up every night. I love doing it, you know. Um they can't take away stand up either, which is yeah. great. They can't take away podcasts, so it's like um I don't know. It's been just really interesting, you know, the last couple of yeah. years, you know. It does seem like people just want to get upset at something. <laughs> what? What was, what was the wink about? I- I just what I just that? felt like it was, was so serious that I had to do like a little yeah. sexual yeah. thing to <laughs> yeah like get it going. Yeah, you know? <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> it does seem like though people are just getting upset for the sake of getting upset. Like they want something to be angry at, so they're purposely looking for things to be upset. Listen, you can be upset, and I'm upset about a lot of things. You know, I'm a, you know, there's a lot of things that I that really trigger me and rile me up. Right, I just don't. Um, you know, I don't I don't go on the internet to destroy someone's life. Yeah. Right, uh, people have their opinions, you know. I mean, like Taylor Marjorie Green. What's that her name? You know who that I don't is? Know. I've heard the name, but I'm not. I don't well, know. You, you don't know who Marjorie Taylor Green is. Well, you who just is said that? she's Taylor Marjorie. And Marjorie Taylor. I've never heard of her. I've never. Well, heard no, no, of I've her. heard her name before. What is she? Then what? Like, just she's give me in politics, right? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. There are things about her. She says really crazy QAnon, you know. What I mean, kind of things, you know, space lasers and all these crazy things. But I would never like. And I think it, I think what she says is totally bad for the country, and you know. But you know, I don't want to hurt her. I just disagree. You know what I mean? I think the problem now is it's like, oh no, I don't like what you said, or I disagree with you. So you you, you should no longer make a living. You know what I mean? That's where I have a problem with that. Yeah. I think disagreeing <laughs> in silence is just gone now. Like people, yeah. they need to have their opinion heard, and they need to like morally show their superiority over somebody if the other person has an opinion that they could spin as mm-hmm. you know, unethical or something like that. Yeah. But, you know, but then again, it's like, it's fine. <laughs> but no, I mean, it's, it's fine in the sense that yeah. like, you know, I've, you know, if I look back at my life, I'm 51, I'm almost 52 years old, you know, and I've just had a wild ride, man. I've had a great ride. I'm so blessed. I've seen so many things and I've experienced so many things and I, um, you know, in trials and tribulations, but also I was able to travel the world and... And your impact on people. Yeah, and do comedy and I have a great fan base. I love them all and I'm so fucking blessed. So it's like at the end of the day, it's like there's really nothing to complain about. (laughs) 
You know, there really isn't. You know what I mean? This fucking guy over here. Does it concern yeah. you at all? And do you think that the comedy is less funny with these new social restrictions? Well, on I, it? I think uh, but here, my, the truth is this. I think that the reason why Bad Friends is doing so well is because, you know, we it's the kind of comedy they just can't put on you totally TV. Want. And, and, you know, yeah. And, and you know, there's a lot of Ivy League comedy people that don't like what me and Andrew do. You know, they think it's easy. They think it's just like meat and potatoes and whatnot. I don't give a fuck. Listen, if you don't like it, listen to something else. But it's like, I think that the reason why we're resonating with a, a segment of society is because, um, you know, that's how they fool around with their friends. These are the things that they say, you know what I mean, at home or at a party or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, we're just authentically being, you know what I mean, ourselves, the way we are. It's funny because, you know, the other day I was at the comedy store and, you know, there was a bunch of comics back there. And I, I, you know, we were, everyone was just like, the, what, the things that we were saying were so funny and crazy and wild and making fun of each other. And I was just basically, it's like, I stopped everyone. I go, dude, if we should just be recording this because this is what, how people talk yeah. behind closed doors. You know what I mean? But it's like, you know, you can't do it publicly because people are afraid. But, um, and television has really gone. It's not funny. It, no. It's just like a Gosh, cookie yeah. cutter. Yeah, those late board. night show talk. I have I mean, never uh, yeah. what? cracked giggles. Really? From those? Jimmy things. Fallon. No, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, has he made you laugh? Probably. Yeah. No, this fucking guy. Probably. No, 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 Oh yeah, he made no, me that's, laugh. No, that's okay. But you, you say, have you ever? Have you ever? You have power, you ever? Dude. If you I ask, don't like you, dude. If you I ask, like you. if you ask me in the last four years, have I? No. When I was twelve, and I was like just figuring out about right. the barrier. That's yeah, even barrier. hurt more hurtful okay. so, for Jimmy. Anyway, yeah. Seth Meyers, has he made you laugh? I don't know. I, I don't. You don't even know that. who he is. Wow. Um, I like Jay Leno. I like him. <laughs> Why are you? Howard Stern's pretty funny. Yeah, but he's not a late talk show, late night talk show host. He was one of the first, you know, yeah. shock jock kind of, in, you know, mm -hmm. DJs. I mean, he, in many ways, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing without him. You know, yeah. he's very important to that. You know, I know it wasn't podcasting, but it was like irreverent, really crazy yeah. comedy. His that, his podcast is coming back. I see a lot of clips showing up now of Howard Stern mm -hmm. on uh, TikTok. Yeah, yeah. And Beetlejuice has made this whole resurgence I with love him it. on like I love it. as memes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you I met love Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice? No. You haven't? Where would I go? Met is he here? I don't know. I, I'm just wondering because, you know. He's have like, you met Beetlejuice? No. I have not, no. Yeah, yeah. No, but I, mean, I, like he's, he's, I, have you, I mean, have you ever met um, Vladimir Putin? I mean, we, could, we could play this game all day long. <laughs> I, had, I was just wondering if you, if you had any, any... No, why would I meet him? Because he, he's friends with, like, Stern, who's a comedian, and then, like, I don't know, it's kind of... Let I me ask like, you something. Is yeah. Beetlejuice a comedian? No, but he's in that group, kind of, with Stern, you know? Mm. How would I meet him? Be real, though. Let's think about that. Honestly, yeah, yeah. Because, because he's friends with Stern, I figured that there's probably some... I've never done Stern. <laughs> I know. Well, I didn't know that actually. That you'd never know. Oh, sure. I don't but see I him feel as like a Stern. comedian. I love it. You don't Dude, see him as a comedian. I don't. No, I. Th I think he's just a very frank. He's a comedian guy. He's not a stand-up comedian. He's, edgy. he's just an edgy yeah. shock jock DJ mm. who says funny things sometimes. You know. Um, yeah, I don't think he's a comedian. I wouldn't consider him that though. Mm. But um, interesting. I like your eyebrows. Thanks, man. You're welcome, man. Thanks. Do you practice comedy? Is this something you have to work on? You come up with like jokes, or is it just on the fly? You just like got it. <laughs> is, is that a curious. boring question? Just, no, is that a bad just, question? I gotta hold on. Okay, what? So you said practice? How, practice how, how natural is this to you of just coming up with like just off I'm not the rip? doing anything? Here's the thing. Yeah. Okay. Is it a natural? It's not natural even. Not natural. I, I'll gonna say sure. something. All right. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. But I want to say this, okay? Is I'm just talking to you guys. This is the way I talk. I understand. Right? In my mind, I was like, I'm going to say this because it's going to yeah. be funny. I don't do that. I just say whatever it goes through to my mind. Like, I just make shit up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just and people find it funny. But it's not like something like, like here's my muscle. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you. The, you know what I mean? It's not that. It's just like, I'm just like talking. But when do you realize you have a talent for I don't that? even think I've been like, funny this whole episode. You said the wrecking ball thing, which I still I know, but yeah. to me, to me, was it was the way... for a long time. I saw a guy with gigantism one day and he lo his head looked like a wrecking ball. <laughs> but that's just like... I know, but in my mind, I'm like, that. I mean, to me, it's like, that's what it looked like to me. 
But Got to it. you, you thought it was funny. You know, I did audition a long time ago for Mad TV, which is a TV show yeah, sketch. And I, course. you know, I wrote characters. And so these are things that I, I can do. I can purposely write something and be funny within that parameter, you yeah. know. But it's like right now, you know, what I mean, I didn't write any of this now. I'm just talking to you yeah. guys. But you're right. I mean, it's like. Uh, I've been in it for so long. I don't really, really think about it in those terms, really. You know, yeah. I just kind of just do. You know, I'm like the joker. I just do things, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I just show up to things. The most important thing in life, guys, is to show up and just to do it, right? Everything else is like, you know, you can do it harder or more perfect, but it's just the whole idea of, I think the problem we get in our society is people just live in this deep fear that they can't do things. Right. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I literally think I have quarter down syndrome. Like I really I, I'm really dumb. You know, I've never read a book. I got all F's in high school. I went to four rehabs, three rehabs in my life, three or four. I don't remember. My, my point is, is that, yeah. you know, what I, mean? I have no skill set, whatever. The only thing I know how to do and that I've done right in my life is I'll just try to do it. Yeah. You know, I'll show up at an audition. I'll give it a go. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm scared like everyone else. I have fear like everyone else. But instead of like not doing it, I do it. Yeah. You know, and I think that's the only thing I did right in my life. It's just to put one foot in front of the other and say, fuck it. I'm doing it. And, yeah. and I think in the process of doing that, you get more confident. You know, like before I did that, you know, in my early 20s, I couldn't get any girls or anything. I couldn't even like if I got pulled over by the cops, I couldn't look them in the eyes. I was just so afraid of authority and because my dad was so abusive and stuff. And so, but then when I was started doing stand up, I realized, oh, it's just, it's that confidence seeped into other areas of my life where I could like look at a girl and go, hey, you wanna hang out? You know what I mean? Because, you know, an audience not laughing is a devastating, you know what I mean? Rejection. But then once you get used to that and you realize what it is, and what it is is just people's opinions, and you can have a bad night and it doesn't kill you. And, you know, I mean, it's, it doesn't mean anything if you have a, you know, a rejection doesn't mean anything. Yeah. yeah. Where did the shamelessness come from? Was that something that what's happened? Shame, what's shameless about me? You're not fear for judgment. I feel like you. Oh, I am. You are? Yeah. But you still do it regardless. Yeah. So you overcome that. Well, I mean, I, I don't even know. What do you mean by shamelessness? Like you say things that I would not say. Like what? All those had like a wrecking ball. Like the centaur like, the thing. Yeah, would you thing? have like I, make love with a centaur? Like, but how? But, but in my mind, how is that bad? It's a question that I ask myself at night. If I if I watch Lord of the Rings, right? You're like, would I have sex with that character? <laughs> yeah, I'll go. I'll go. You know, what I, mean? I wonder what it would be like to um, make love to like a group of hobbits. The I how do I Foreman. how do I get in that that circular door? You know that's, what I mean? that's what people call intrusive thoughts, right? Yeah. So, but you you give them energy. I mean, you let them. Mm -hmm. Foster. Yeah, there's like this TV show called Body Bazaar. I haven't seen it. I've never seen it. Yeah, it's, a, it's on um, Discovery or something, National Geographic. And it's like, you know, they have little segments of people with like, I'm not making fun of them and I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know why I'm smiling. I'm not going to smile. Okay. Yeah. Right. But you know, like people that were like, have like a 90 pound tumor coming out of their face. Why are you laughing? I'm not That's laughing. Crazy. I'm, I'm not laughing. That's insane. I'm really not laughing. Yeah, you're smiling. That's insane, dude. He's laughing. Romulus yeah, yeah. is laughing. You know what I mean? Or like, you know, like some ki just kid in some India, you know what I mean? And he's got like... I've seen the antlers. Like hands coming yeah. out of their heads. And they go, hello! <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up, dude. That's so insane. You can't on, do that. It's laugh, insane man. what you're doing, dude. That's like a fucking... They were born like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and they... And they, they hello! You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like... So I watched cool that, check. and I, you know, in my mind, I'm like, I don't know why, but it's like, even the guy with the tumor, it's like, I wonder what, you know what I mean? Like if it's a woman, <laughs> if it's a woman with a 90 yeah. pound tumor, I go, if there's no tumor down below, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Could you still smack? I mean, I just think of things like that. It's wrong probably, you know what I mean? But you need therapy, dude. I do? Yeah, you're mean. I'm mean? Yeah, you make fun of people with mutations and stuff. I, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's, I, I was mean. Okay. But like, you know, they have like Siamese twins, yeah. uh, but real people's lives. Some of those I've been, I've, I've questioned the logistics of like how that would, like the Siamese twins one. What do you mean the logistics? The, the, the two girls that are conjoined at the head, um, they were talking about dating and they were like, one of them wanted to date and the other one didn't want to date. Yeah. And it's like, how does that work if one goes out and like wants to, you know, do stuff 
but they're conjoined at the head, and the other one doesn't want to be a part of it. Well, like, that's happens? why I developed a product from them. What's the product? Right, it's a it's a wall, but it's cut out, <laughs> right? So they put it between, right? Sure. The, the, where the you know what I mean? Where they're you know what I mean? Yeah. Where they're conjoined. I have a full blown wall, and I have different styles. I have brick. You know, I have a metal one. So there'd only I have be a wooden one. You like only have one customer. Man. What? It would just be probably one couple. customer. A few customers. Well, I custom make you them. Could, yeah, but you can for make, other things. Jack right? up the price a bunch. Yeah. So there's... imagine. So you put a wall between them, right? Yeah. And so now that you're gonna be like this, and you could do whatever. You know, what I mean? Oh, what, what, what are they? They have two bodies. Two bodies. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. So you know, what I mean, you know, what I mean, they could do what they're doing there, and, and it's soundproof the wall. How much would it cost? Sounds expensive for a movable wall. Ten, <laughs> it's like fifteen thousand dollars. What's the profit margin <laughs> what, on that? That's, what? The profit margins on that gotta be. It, no, I mean it, it's got twenty five hundred dollars to make. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it's, I'm gonna charge fifteen thousand. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, I guess it so. depends on what's. I mean, and we cater it to other people. Like sometimes it's like, you know what I mean? There's one body and two heads. Have you seen those ones? Okay. I don't think those survive. I just I've wonder not how, seen you can, how one person yeah. can have a relationship <laughs> with somebody else. Because I feel like, like you? you'd have you'd effectively be having a relationship with two different people. It's difficult, dude. In, in fact, I would say that it's almost impossible. That's why I created the wall, man. But you're right. It's like, what do you do? I think what you'd have to do is, I mean, what I would have done, it, I mean, my brother would be dead. <laughs> you would eat him? Or no, he would, I would, he'd just be like dead. And I would just go, you know what I mean? Like, I would probably strangle him at night. Wouldn't you that kill might, your other one? That might affect you, too. Because yeah, I think I, no, I would ask the doctors. No, at the doctors, I was like, hey, just supposedly, hypothetically, if Steve died, you know what I mean? Wink, wink, yeah. right? Would it kill my body? And the doctor goes, I, I don't think so. I would look then, at him. <laughs> then why wouldn't, you just get, why wouldn't you just get caught and just, like, sever the two? He would just be ahead at that point. Because usually they don't separate them because I'll tell you moving why. one is going to tell you the why? other one. Yeah. <laughs> and I think yeah. This is crazy. What am I about to say? I think the reason why is because I would want more of the head part. <laughs> Wait, you wouldn't? I want more of the head part. You want Because when you're in surgery, right? <laughs> right. In surgery, they'll go 50 50 on the head part right. that we're sharing, right? Yeah. But I would want a little bit more so I could just have more like, room to mold, you know what I mean? That, that, that opening or whatever. Like a 51 49. No, so no, no, no. Because no. no. he's going to want, you know what I mean, more head parts. So I just know this in my mind. You so don't I'm like, have I'm going to kill intent. him, right? Yeah. And then I'm going to be like, I'll go, to, yeah, just doctor, just, you could just cut half of his head. And we'll just mold it, you know what I mean, into my, you know what I mean, after he's dead, or something like Got that. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a thinker, dude. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an insane idea, huh? Pretty good, huh? I don't think we should make fun of people like that. That's it's sad. It's hard, right? What if the ones that, like, there was two girls, you know what I mean, I guess and they, they got one, a driver's license. And one cop. What? And one cop. That was a great movie. Remember what that? a great movie. Did you see that, Jack? Two <laughs> Girls, One Cup? To me, I feel like you can squirt, like, you know what I mean, things in your butthole to make it look like poo. Yeah. And they can squeeze out, like, a, you know, you know that icing, chocolate icing. The whole video came out as fake. What? You see that? The what? whole video, Two Girls, One Cup. It's yeah, that's fake. what I'm saying. Yeah, it's fake. So what happened? They, they, pull- they injected, like, a that's fudge. Exactly that's what I'm like saying. That. Yeah. Was just but that was just saying yeah, that. Yeah, I know, but I'm extrapolating Is that, that real? It's a smoothie. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, so they, they drank a strawberry smoothie, yeah. threw it up, yeah. and then injected fudge. That's, what ha- that's why they did it. Yeah. yeah, that's the only way you could do it. There's yeah. no way you could eat poo like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way? What, why are you laughing? There's no way you said it. There's no way you could eat poo like that. Right, would you? I would not, no. Certainly not. Okay, what about this? 20 million to eat my poo. Yeah. But dude, that would be this it'll be a tough day. I mean a, a twenty million dollars in a day is pretty You know, is that weird that you make that kind of money though? Yeah. That's crazy. You right? make yeah. a lot of money. I make twenty million. How much do you make? I don't know. You don't know? You gotta have an idea. I don't have an it's idea. It's like a ballpark. Can we guess? Like, no, I'll tell you why I don't know. Yeah. Um I've never asked. How, who do you have to ask? Um, I have a got money guy, and I when I first signed him fifty years fifteen years ago, I go, um, I don't want to know how much money I have. I don't want to. I don't want to live in a life in a world where I'm like always looking at my bank account, worried and this and that. So um, yeah, I don't know. But the only problem is how much does he take? He takes two uh, percent of your income. Mm-hmm. Of your income. Mm-hmm. 
Does it, he has multiple clients then? Millions. No, like a l- really credible yeah. ones. So yeah. how does it work? Do you just go to him and say, hey, can I afford this today? Or like if you spend too much, he's like, hey, you got to cut back. On no, the I, I call him like I called him yeah. five days ago and I said, I'm, I'm thinking about buying a new car. He said, all right, go ahead. I go, does it matter? He goes, no. Well, you got to tell him the price of the car, right? No, a, c- a couch. A couch. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. Car. I couch. I said, sorry, couch. Yeah. It could be like a cloud couch, though. 15 grand or it could be Ikea. Like yeah, I thousand. could do 15 grand couch you know what i mean but you have no idea how much you make i don't know how much i have oh either you know and like both some, okay and sometimes andrew will go this is what we're making this month and i'll go wow that's crazy you know what i mean but i don't really think about it yeah i mean i don't really um you curious no is there anything you because want to buy? I, because yeah. the number is really low i'll yeah. just be depressed and i'll start panicking sure and go, i need to do more right but if you don't know, then you're just kind of just, I just live my life. So you, okay. You know what I mean? What if the number's high? What if it's a, like a big it's number? It's probably it's high. Like, yeah. But probably could be low. I mean, I, for me, it's like, I know that like, like I asked my money guy, I go, you know, how long can I not work? You know what I mean? Um, until um, I run out of money. Yeah. And he goes, a long, long time. So you can go out a long, long time without yeah. working and you'll be fine. You know what I mean? So just as long as I know that, I'm fine. So basically the way to figure it out, well, I'm not going to tell you. you don't oh, well, okay, go ahead. It tell doesn't me. matter. Now tell I can me. tell you. Okay. You take your expenses. You're going to multiply that by about 30, maybe 33, and that's probably how much money you have. Your monthly expenses. Sorry, I annual. Even, sorry, annual expenses. I don't even know what that is. Okay. I don't know what okay. I pay for my mortgage. I don't know what I pay for my car. Oh. I don't know what insurance costs. I don't know what my lighting, light utility costs. I don't know anything. All that's taken care of. Every bill? Every bill. I've never, I don't even know where to, phone bill, I don't even know where to go to do it. Kind of sounds nice. That I'm sounds not going to really lie. Nice. To like yeah. not have to worry about like ever yeah, missing a payment like on something. I don't want to say his name. I'll call my guy and I go, um, dude, my car's not, my credit card's not working. He goes, what's the problem? He calls. And he goes, oh, well, it's been, you know, Hacked or what, what do you call it? Um, stolen or something stolen like that. Or, yeah, 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 fraudulent charge. Fraudulent, it's fraudulent. freeze on it. And so you're going to have to use that other card for like a week. We'll get you another yeah. one. That kind of thing. But I don't really worry about it. And you tell them the same that. thing for investing. It's like invest my money for me. Just do whatever you think is best. Safe. Yeah. Yeah. So he goes, yeah. Wow. And um, like I know that he bought me many, like 15 years ago, he bought me um like a, a, a condo or an apartment complex or something. Mm. We, we went in with a group. Sure. And it's doing well. You know, I don't know. Cool. So I just kind of like let them do it. But I don't do, why do you, why do you, why do you want to know? Oh, well, I mean, we're a money channel. Oh, that's, that's kind of what I do. So <laughs> oh, like, not, oh, yeah, yeah. That's all you are? Yeah, yeah. Oh. My, my, business. Yeah, I mean, my entire main channel is about like investing, building wealth, saving money is a big one. So my thing oh, is- Oh, well, like, I could call you for help their, then. I'm not a financial advisor, but I just I know, but I, like, I can just give you go. Hey, what do you think of this? You could get my opinion for sure. Yeah, I'm happy to do I that. I can get your number. Is that what it is? Yeah. No, be real. My number. Yeah, for real. All right. Yeah. Don't be hurtful. I mean, my stuff is like pretty basic. I'm just gonna like index funds are best for most people. Mm. Save your money. Don't buy Starbucks is a big one. Why? Save money. It's a waste. Like what my, my belief. I'm making it at home. Oh, you're one of those yeah, guys. Yeah, I am one of like, those. Like you don't. No, legitimately, I just I. Make coffee at home. I'm You're really, one of I'm those really, guys. Yeah, I'm really Gross. Cheap. I'm really cheap. Oh, you're so cheap. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to. No, even, a, I, a, I'm not gonna call you. I don't want your number. It's a it's a pride it's thing. It's fucking crazy. See, I believe if no. you could save money in the small things, it yeah. transfers over to everything else. It's like eating a snack. Like if you're going to the gym, you want to get in shape. You know, a little snack and M and M isn't gonna hurt you. This shoe but it's like is yeah. six hundred and fifty dollars. You wouldn't have bought it. No. I bought him Pair of shoes that yeah, those are the ones I was wearing. Yeah, five hundred bucks, but yeah, yeah. they were free. Actually, my entire outfit is free. I say this all the time. Oh my god, I would so. hate to go- d- date you. Oh my, <laughs> what do you get your fiance? What do you mean? Like for a gift? For a gift? Yeah, sushi. Okay. Yeah. Why do you dinners. make sushi at home? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know how to make sushi like that. I mean, I feel you like know it's I mean? easy. It's it's a better deal to go and get all you could eat sushi in Vegas for thirty dollars than it is to go and make it at home. It's cheaper. Like we can oh, eat a hundred dollars. Okay, I want to ask you. Okay, this yeah. is very interesting. Okay, yeah. so it's like this. It's like um, going to all you can eat sushi. Yeah. You know what I mean? At a gas station, or go to Asanebo, which is a they used to be a Michelin star sushi restaurant. It's really good. Yeah. Do you like ice cream? <laughs> this fucking guy. Dude, this piece of shit right what? here, dude. Fuck you, dude. Do you like ice cream? 
Who the fuck doesn't like fucking <laughs> ice cream, bro? A fucking ridiculous question, man. I will say, I actually don't like ice cream that much. Fucking guy. Why? It's true. I, I prefer brownies, cookies, chocolates, and stuff like that. Ice cream is too cold, and it's hard to eat fast. Oh, you're one of those fast eaters? Oh, I eat so fast. Yeah. I you don't so enjoy fast. it. I do enjoy it. No, you don't. I you enjoy can't it. enjoy it if you're eating it fast. I enjoy it to a higher degree for a shorter amount of time. I've thought about this. But you don't know how to savor. No. <laughs> yeah, have you savored? He savors. Uh, and you no, savors I do and you go, wow. He savors Are you everything. kidding me? I'm oh. the opposite of that. So you got, when you I'm guys do that, if eater. you do that in a restaurant, you do that when you eat pussy. You go, hey, okay, good night. And they're like, what the fuck? What do, you, what do you do? What? What do you do? Savor, dude. I'm down there till it's done. I'm, I slow it. Bring up my, you know, my napkin and my knife. You know what I mean? Spread like this. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, I do all that stuff, right? But you, you're like, pop, pop, and you're done. <laughs> you're not good, dude. You got to change your ways. Keep your ways, man. No, slow it down okay. when you eat anything. You eat fast too, huh? I do. You look. I'm a. a, pro I'm a you're a rabbit fucker. Right. Now I'm a practical eater. You know when he fucks, dude? You know when he fucks, dude? <laughs> <laughs> right? You could tell he's a fucking power rabbit fucker, right? This guy, right? <laughs> right? And they're like, I do not. And the girl's, are, and the girl's like, oh, you know what I mean? And then you're done, and then you're like, you know what I mean? You're done. <laughs> And you call your accountant. <laughs> I'm like, right? And, they just, and the just girls in the bed it? got rabbit fucked by you. <laughs> it's insane, dude. Stop that, too. Nah. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it. I'm checking my credit score afterwards. Yeah. See, that's so <laughs> weird that you do that. Just checking everything. Yeah, yeah. Do you not have credit karma? You just see what your credit score is. I don't, I don't even know what it is. Okay. Like I yeah. said, dude, I don't um, care that much. You know, but... Um, and there were times in my career where I did care because I had no money. Mm -hmm. Well, when you have no money, yeah. then you look. Because it's like, you know, you have $475 in your bank. And that's all you have. Yeah. Then you have to go, all right, what can I eat this week? Right? But when, if it's anywhere above, if you make anything above a half a million a year, why would you have to check? Yeah. That's a lot of money. Now, how were you making it by, though? What would you do to get by on, like, you know, when you have, like, $400 in the bank account? I would do random, like... One night gigs. There was always like these things like triple runs back in the nineties, or like there were all these weird clubs that you could play, like in Tucson. And so one nighter, and they give you like three hundred cash or whatever. But I would do those kind of things. I would also like, like w one time I, uh, the comedy store um, owned a theater called the Richard Pryor Theater. I forgot what street it was on, but it was abandoned, and. Um, they told me there, there to go. There's people living in there, and you and a bunch of like doormen at the comedy store have to go. And this is off the clock of yeah. you know what I mean. And you guys have to clear them out. So we came with sticks and oh stuff. And you know what I mean. So I would do random weird jobs like that. But yeah. I would do anything to make money. Like when I'm desperate for money, I'm willing to do anything. Yeah. I'll wash dishes. You know what I mean. I'll do grout work. I don't know what that is, but you know. Sure. But I'll like you know I'll you know spank or whatever. You know yeah. what I mean. But um, where do you get that work ethic from? It's not work ethic. I'm uh, lazy. Ask anyone. Yeah. Everyone, everyone. Sorry. I get energy. <laughs> everyone knows I'm a lazy fuck face. I'm very lazy. But I don't also want to eat and survive. I also, you know, were you, when, when was the last time you were poor? High school, maybe? You were, I mean, were your parents were poor? They were very much paycheck to paycheck. Your but parents like, were? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it was never the point where, like, we were ever concerned about, like, not having food or not having, like, a roof over our head. Do you so give like, your parents money now? Um, to some degree. What do you mean? To some degree, I do. But I know I've always sent my mom money. You know what I mean? It's a good. Th it's a good thing to do. I yeah. want to be a good son. Um, but um, so you were poor in high school. How about you? When's the last time you were poor? I don't think I was ever poor, but there were definitely times where I would not like. All of my friends would be going out to eat, and I wouldn't buy anything because I didn't have it. That's nah, poor. Oh, my parents had money. They just wouldn't give it to me. Like I just didn't. Oh. So if there was no time in your 20... How old are you now? 24. That's 24. Yeah. Fuck, you're such a baby. I was the guy in the friend group that would never eat. When we all went... Why, for like three months? I mean, you're only no, 20 years. fuck four... Years. years when? What? From 18 to 20? What the fuck are you talking about? All throughout, all throughout high, school. high school. I mean, you're... What do you... I'm talking about like in your 20s, late 20s, you're living with 12 guys in a two-bedroom apartment, which is what I did, and you're sleeping like sardines, like it's Amistad, right? And you're, no one can eat. And you're it, like, you do, like, I was in despair. There were many times in my career where I was in despair. I, um, like, I've gone through so many, like, phases 
in the comedy business, you know what I mean, where stand-up was dead or, you know what I mean, this was in and this was in, you know what I mean? I've been able to figure out how to, like, kind of adapt to each era. When you're poor, you know. But, when, you know, when you have some money, why, why, why do I? So I've, a lot of people that were poor at some period of time in their lives are less scared of going back to being that because they know what it was like. And they know it's, it's not like the worst thing in the entire world. It's the worst thing in the whole world. You really think so? Being poor? So I, I know I've heard this from plenty of people that have been in situations like that. where like, okay, I could always go back to sleeping on my parents' couch and I'm totally cool with that. That's well, why they're not afraid of. Well, I could, you know, yo, you're right. I mean, I, I could go to my mom. Like if really things went bad, you know, because um, I, I bought my mom's house and, you know, it's a small little house in uh, Phoenix. Mm. So if, if I, if things got really bad, I could go home live in my room and do that, it would be so depressing, but yeah, I guess I could do that. But I, I think that, that w- I would be so depressed if that happened. Wouldn't you be depressed? I don't know. I think I would be fine. How about you, living at your yeah. mom's house? Yeah, probably. No money. Yeah. I don't know how I don't long think I would probably... be fine with it for, but I love going back to this. I do it like at least once a month and I stay there. Yeah. You have to have more empathy for people. People are struggling out there. What do we do? You think there's? Do you think there's going to be a recession, <laughs> bro, 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 bro? Bro, bro, that little gap when that happened was so awkward and so good. It was so uncomfortable. Good, right? It's almost as if like I said something and it went to a different multiverse. Yeah, and you received it in a different, you know what I mean, plane almost. You know what I mean? That was insane. Oh, like one. you're like an android and, and you just, you just couldn't comprehend. You know what I mean? Did you see that? Right? I go, what do we do? You know what I mean? And he goes, yeah. like something fucking weird happened. <laughs> like he has no empathy. You have no empathy. Is that what it is? He's trying to think of what to say. <laughs> I know. That's that was good, insane, that's dude. Wow, that was uncomfortable. Oh, Holy shit, that. dude. Don't ever do that like, again. There's like 20 questions in my head. I, 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 I don't know what happened, though. <laughs> but you fucking... <laughs> I know. Well, I threw that out there. Dude, you that broke is. down almost <laughs> for a second. <laughs> and you rev, rev back up. Oh, my God. That was insane. Yeah. Let's just go to uh, you with that now yeah, because got, you're not functioning correctly. Yeah, I got a question. Yeah, go ahead. Because you mentioned in a podcast that you became a comedian because you didn't like the fact that you felt like other people did not like you. What? You became a comedian because you thought other people didn't like you. And I never said that. You said that on a podcast. I listened to the podcast earlier today. It was on Lex Friedman. You think you always thought that people didn't like you. Yeah. So you became a comedian. Oh yeah, yeah. I did say that. I did say that. You yeah, like yeah. to crack jokes and be a funny person because that's an easy way to get people to like you. I don't know exactly what I said, but um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't think that it's strange to think that, you know, I mean, people don't like you. I mean, I don't have a lot of friends, really. You know, I. I had a core group of friends, but I wasn't popular in any kind of way, you know? So it's like, I felt invisible is what I, I think when I wanted to say. Every time I would walk into a place, I would feel invisible. Like no one was seeing me or noticing me. So what did you do to change that exactly? Did you just feel more comfortable being yourself and saying the things that were on top of your mind and stuff like that? No, I just started doing stand-up. That was it? Yeah, because, you know, it was like... Um, the first time where it's so sad to say even, but it's the first time where I felt like, okay, like at least, you know what I mean? The focus is on me for a second, you know? And, you know, it felt um, like I was being seen or whatever in the beginning, but then you get used to it like anything else. But yeah, I mean, it, but what it did help me with is like, I think I said this before early in the podcast where it helped me with the confidence to go out in the real world and be seen. It's almost as if like, I was like, it transferred over into the public. You know what I mean? Even what, though I wasn't even famous, you know, when I went to my waiting job, for instance, there was just more of an air about me of more confidence. You know what I mean? And that, you know what I mean? People would spawn, respond to me in a different yeah. way. It's an upward spiral of success. Like you get one little win and it's like you get the confidence to do another one, and that gives you the confidence to do another one. It builds on each other, and then all I mean, of a sudden, you, you're, but like I, you have yeah. to imagine, I'm you know, 1995, I started, yeah. okay, and I've been doing it since then, okay. So it's like, um, and back then there was no internet, so I had to do it the old-fashioned way, which is like slow and painful, you know, a billion gigs. Terrible gigs, night after night, going on the road to a Holiday Inn in the middle of a desert and doing it in front of three fucking rednecks or whatever. I mean, that's constant, right? 
for years, mm. no money. You know, now it's like kids instantly become famous because of TikTok or whatever, which is fine. I have no, you know what I mean? That's your life, you know what I mean? And good for you. But I, I, I did not experience that. You know, it's, it's, uh, it, it, we were talking about the other night, a bunch of comics, older comics mm -hmm. were like, it's, thank God for the internet because it's like, you know, it, it just became easier to reach an audience. You know, it's like, it went from like, you know what it is? It's like LA used to be, 12 gatekeepers, like 12 people mm. that if like eight of them didn't like you, good luck. Really? Right. But now it's like, oh, you know what? We don't need you. I'm just going to go to the people because that's what you're blocking. You were blocking me from the people yeah. before by not putting me in shit. Right. So now we can just go to them. And then that's now I'm like, see? Yeah. Like I always knew that, but it's like. So for the gatekeepers, are they the ones that like comedy clubs or are they no the ones gatekeepers like were like um, TV and movies? And well, like one of the gatekeepers that did like me was yeah. I felt was Allison Jones. She was she's a, one of the greatest casting directors and she always booked me in things. Mm. You know, what I mean, I was, you know, I did the dictator and Kirby enthusiasm yeah. and, you know, love you know, Apatow, Judd Apatow stuff. You know, what I mean, mm. and I always loved her. She was always like I felt like she got me. And she, but the, I, I would love to name names. Yeah. I'm this close to doing it. But like, they just wouldn't give me the time of day. They didn't see it. They would say things like, he's not a star or we don't see it. They'll say that out loud. Did you believe or internalize that when they yeah, say you, that? You, you yeah, you do believe it. Yeah. You go, oh yeah, well, because then you know that they hired your friend. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're like, oh, my friend's more special to them than me or whatever. But then it's like, you go to the people and the people are like, nah, 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 that's legit. You know what I mean? And it's, yeah. it's like going right to the fucking tap. Yeah. You know that, I mean? It's just like instant feedback I've heard is when you post something like that, you could tell within a minute how it's received. Yeah, but what's yeah. also helped me with, it's also helped me get into projects so much easier now. Like, you know, Reservation Dogs, Sex in the City, and Magnum P.I. were the latest three shows I was mm -hmm. on. They were all offers, right? I mean, they just like, can you, you want to do it? Whereas if that happened 15 years ago, if even if I could get an audition, which I would never have gotten one, you know what I mean? You're, you're, you're getting pitted against 50 other people. It's just like a long shot. Yeah. It's never going to fucking happen. But now it's just like, you know what? I don't need that. I'll do this. And now they're like, well, come play. And I'm like, all right, yeah. I will. How much time are you dedicating now to your podcast versus everything else? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, uh, I guess job wise, like it has, has the podcast gotten to a point now where it's like, you know, you don't need anything else. Is that the goal? I do need other things because it's yeah. like, it doesn't fulfill all my desires. Um, but no, cause I, I have to do stand up sure. and I do love acting, you know? Um, but, um, for right now, it's where I make most of my money. If I toured more, I could make more money doing that. Mm. But I'm going out with Andrew. You know what I mean? So we're doing, we just did 26 cities. We did San Diego, you know, different gigs. And it's been incredible. I mean, you know, I, you know, I used to sell, I, mean, I could sell out a comedy club, but now it's like we're doing these theaters and it's, it's so fucking amazing, yeah. you know? So um, I'm not going to quit podcasting. Um, I love it. But I want to do all the other things as well. Mm -hmm. But it's like, um, but it's also at the end of the day, I don't know what's next. Do you? With AI coming around the corner, we have no idea what the next fad's going to be, the next TikTok, the next Vine. You know what I mean? I mean, people like, and like movies and television shows are fucking dying mm. because of the internet now. You know what I mean? Um, this is people can consume other things, you know? And, they, and one day they might get tired of us. They might get tired yeah. of YouTube. I think for the next few years, I think it's podcasting and shorts. And I've seen a lot of comedians on TikTok. Who's that one guy Matt who just, Rich, probably. maybe it's him who just rips off the, the crowd. Yeah, Matt Rife. Yeah, and he's just posting his three-minute segments he's on millionaire on TikTok. <laughs> but the, the amount of money that he has to be making right now, because he's posting over oh, one insane. minute. Millionaire. My guess, he's probably making a million a month. Just with, with the I mean, amount the deal of views that, I, I don't getting, want to get into yeah. his business, but I know the yeah. deal that I was in the high millions yeah oh yeah. Yeah, yeah i believe it yeah he's killing it uh, but he deserves that yeah matt rife was somebody that i knew for a very long time and he was always doing it 
How did you meet him? Is it just that, a small, No, he's a local yeah. comic. You know, like a yeah. comic that we would see at gigs and stuff. I mean, he's a kid that did the business. He he has street credibility. Yeah. That's why Matt Rive making it doesn't... It, it makes me happy. Yeah. It makes me go, you know what? That kid fucking deserves it. Because um, I know he's been... He did the, the deal, you know? When people don't do the deal, I don't have respect for what, it. What do you mean by the deal? You the suffering. Through it? Okay. There's got to be some suffering. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to go, you know, you got to come to LA or New York and go, th- if you want to be a stand up and go through that process, uh, because that's where the best comics are, right? Mm-hmm. New York and LA, right? You got to go to those cities and you go, listen, I did it. N- no money showed up. No one knew who I was. They treated me like shit. And I looked at everyone and went, you'll see one day. Mm-hmm. And I, f- through time, slowly crawled my way up. You, you know, like any, like anyone that makes it, Taylor Tomlinson, young, but I know that she grinded. I know she's a part of that, that scene. You know, I've seen her around as a young person, mm-hmm. you know, um, name, you know, anyone, uh, yeah. now I'm curious yeah, when, you, when you see these people, do you know instantly that they have what it takes or do you think this is something where it's like, I, they have the perseverance and the dedication. They're going to make it. Work no, no, no. You, can't. you either have it, you're dumb. But yeah. I have seen people go and, and, and go and not laugh yeah. and go, that guy's going to make it. Like it's not my brand of comedy, sure. But I can I, I look at it and I go, you know what, dude, this guy's so good. I just it's not my thing. Fair you know enough. what I mean? Yeah. But I can do see that. I mean, I, I feel like I have a good sense of things. Sometimes people surprise me though. Yeah. You know, I'm not right all the time. You know what I mean? But for the most part, I can kind of see somebody and go, yeah, that person. Like I, I was there when I first saw Andrew Santino. The first time I saw Andrew Santino, this is 15, 12, 14, I don't know how long ago, mm-hmm. many years ago. And I sat there and the, I was in the original room and I saw him perform and he was young and I went and I was sitting there with another guy and we looked at each other and went, yeah, that guy's good. Like you just can tell, you mm-hmm. know. Do you feel offended when people use words that are like derogatory towards Asian people? No, I, I don't get offended by anything. Nothing. I, I, get, I get offended by Not behavior, really. right? Actions. You know, if I see somebody do something terrible, but if it's in comedy... Right? I don't get offended. I'm kind of the same. I've never been sensitive. If I know someone's joking, like even if they use a slur towards me or something, something I subscribe to, I'm totally fine with it. As long as I know it's like, they don't actually have that like angry vitriol for me. Yeah, the problem is though, is, is that um, people that are fans of mine know pretty much how I do things and how I deliver things and say things. But, you know, I've, I've fallen into situations where people that have no idea who I am and they listen to like a little clip of me, you know, it's problematic to them, you know? Um, And I hate that, you know? See, I think I don't get offended, but I do think some jokes can be distasteful. I think like, um, you know, like animal abuce. I think of like really like the submarine, like the submarine jokes. I didn't find the funny. I wasn't offended. I was just like, eh, you know, I get the humor behind it, but I was like, eh, it's. I don't know, like, man. That's, it's, that's I don't. I mean, I, I feel, for me, yeah. it's like you know, like I, I know Jimmy Carr. You know Jimmy Carr? He's an English comic, one of the best. His jokes are so fucking dark and edgy. You know what I mean? And they're so good. I mean, just the just the writing in yeah. it is so good. The switches, and it's like he says fucked up things, and it's in the in the form of a joke. Yeah, it's in the context of a comedy, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? It's fine. This is not real life. Even me talking to you guys right now. This is me, isn't me talking to my friend, you know what I mean, at yeah. Starbucks or whatever. No, this is an elevated, exaggerated, half the things that I say, I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't even think I believe half the things I say or do, you know what I mean? I'm just here to fill the gaps. And my mind goes, oh, this will be good. Let's try this. Let's try this, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, this is not real. You know what I mean? This is entertainment. Yeah. It's our version of this is not how you really are. That's no, that's no, no. Because close, if yeah. we were no, that's if we turned all this off and we sat down, right? You would be more free to say certain things. I would say yeah. Because a couple maybe, of times maybe here like you've 20%. said I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I yeah, say maybe that. like twenty five percent. But yeah. that's not still essentially yeah. who you are in real life, yeah. right? It's still an an elevated or you know what I mean, an exaggerated sure. version of who you are. Yeah, you know. But um. Good job. Thanks yeah. for having me on. Wait, we we gotta I show you. We gotta oh, we wait, gotta we talk a about a, a video. Yeah, um, I wanted to say congratulations on the body yeah. transformation. 
Because I saw this video of you. Um, it was great. I d didn't even know it was you. Do you have any comments on? We want you to comment on this. The top comment said that someone has to show this to Bobby Lee. It was a t it, it got a lot of thousands of. Thanks for having me on. Thank you so much for coming on, Bobby. This is a pleasure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do the sign.